Welcome back to CC's Garage. Today I'm doing a little uh, block prep on a FA motor that I'm getting ready to, or well, block that I'm getting ready to have built into a 431 stroker for my old truck. So let's get in here and I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, back in here in the garage. I recorded this part and then found out for some reason the audio wasn't there. Been having a little trouble with the auto lately audio lately if you uh watch my last video you'll notice it's popping and crackling the whole time this time i got no idea what caused it didn't have my external mic hooked up or anything but still not a bit of audio on on the uh this part so what i was talking about in this part was coming in and i was going to take and tap these which what this does i'm tapping this i can put a plug in one of them and then two MPT barbed fittings that goes from uh, MPT to the hose and the other two same thing on each side and that still gives you a vent then I talked about pulling these out for a quarter inch MPT pipe plug uh, to keep it you know sealed up better I also talked about coming in and doing a mod on these holes which what that does is he's priority the oil up into the rockers area of the, of the head. And it doesn't, it how our pins, it doesn't let the oil drain back down in there quick enough. Well, I'm not going to really have to worry about that as much. Because I don't plan on turning those higher pins in that old truck. But I still go ahead and do the mod to cut down on that. Talk about what size MPT pipe uh, plug I use in this and I'll show drilling out the hole in those pipe plugs and then of course you have my old, old yellow plug here on the front and tapping it. There's one more that's through this hole that's in here but I don't have a long enough tap to get into it. So uh, We'll get into this and I'll show you how I do all of it and talk about a little bit of it. And the biggest reason for the galley plugs is to cut out the oil getting down onto the crank, which will cling to the crank. Then it gets slung off, it aerates the oil. It also robs just a little bit of horsepower, probably nothing to really notice. But the big problem is the aeration of the oil. Now I do have a windage tray in the bottom to help with that but if you can cut it down in the first place you're better off because air in your oil does not lubricate and does not protect the uh the bearings like it should so i'm going to get off here now put this part in where i had to delete the old part and finish it in this video okay i got all this tapped now i'm going to work on pulling these plugs out here. This way I found to do is take a self-tapping screw and screw in there and pull it out. Let's see if I can get you set up where you can watch without me destroying the camera and everything else involved. Down in there too far. 
different bar here. It's a uh, Okay, so the bar's not going to work. Come in here, this pair of vice grips. I'll have to try something else on that one. Well, it worked great to do them on the back of the block. It's just not working good here. Let me uh, catch up and figure out how I'm going to do this. Okay, I grabbed a different type of uh, sheet metal screw. I bet you I went down in there too far with it that time. There we go. Just takes a different approach. I'd say you're getting pretty bored watching me do it this. 
So what I'm going to be doing next, I get this one out. It's for a quarter inch MPT tap. Usually you can read, I don't, probably won't be able to see it out here. But it says quarter 18 MPT tap and the drill size is 7 sixteenths. <clears throat> Which, I already have my 7 sixteenths out. So let me grab the drill, get it set up, and we'll drill some holes. Okay, using my trusty Milwaukee here. Big thing to do is make sure you go straight at this. Let the drill do the work. Put a little lube on there. I think I need to sharpen my drill bit. So, big thing to make sure when you're drilling is you don't wanna, you keep your drill straight. And when you're tapping, keep your tap straight. You also don't wanna get too far down in the hole with your pipe plugs when you get them, uh, or it'll block off your oil flow. Okay, I'll bring you back in a little bit. Okay, I got it drilled down, uh, hopefully far enough. Got my tap started straight, and we're just gonna run it in like we normally would. Oh. Get you set up over here in the engine block. Backing the tap out every now and then just to make sure you don't break it. Take your time. Use plenty of way. Starts getting tight like it is there. Back on out and now we're going to come in here on this one. Get it started. Look at that. Now this box still got to go to the machine shop and be cleaned and get everything ready uh, for the rebuild. The main caps that's on here come off a completely different block, so it's gonna have to be a line honed. And uh, I've got 
main studs for it now for my ARP. Uh, right now I'm still waiting for my instructor kit to come in, but it's supposed to be getting balanced this week, so hopefully I'll have it in by the end of next week. Uh, I'll bring you back as I do some more mods just to help the oil drain back. Okay, the other doctor I finished uh, drilling and tapping out for the uh, oil plugs and the galley vents. I went online. I was going to order a set of the uh, the plugs and the restrictors for the oil to go on the top end. Not a bad price, right around 30 bucks. Reputable company. Up until I seen how much shipping was going to cost. The shipping was going to double the price, literally. $29 for the for the uh, 10 plugs and the two restrictors. And then another 29 shipping. So I said, hmm. So what I can do about this. So I went on to Amazon. Ordered me up 10 of the brass. Quarter inch MPT plugs that I needed. And everybody's running that I read is running either 070 like in the Holly Jet restrictors, just dropping them down into cast iron heads. Well, for the elder Brock aluminum heads I'm running, they're calling for a 090. So what I did is, I haven't even opened this pack all the way yet. We'll get this open and get these little ones out of this secondary pack. I just went in and I ordered me some itty bitty. These are a uh, 16th MPT pipe plug. And order me a 16th MPT tap and a ladder drill for the size, which is this C, which is the size you use for the 16th MPT tap. Then what I did is I've got some uh, Kicking my drill doctor around in the floor. I've got some of these. Let's see if I can get one out. Small, small drill bits. Ow. And they are sharp. I just poked myself in the finger. So what I did with that is I've got a Holly Jack kit. Yes, I used to. And I still have a demon carburetor messed with some Hollies. So I went in and I pulled out the 090 jet. I went through all these little drill bits and I'm going to spare you the pain till I found one that would get as close as I could without being smaller. So, as you see, it goes over that, that jet this is getting hard to hold and do, but it slides down over, over the jet. So what I'll do is I'll take this. That's actually a 92,000, uh, an 092 jet. I'll end up uh, be a little bigger than what they're calling for, but I've got it. It's free. It'll work. The big thing I've got to do is come up with a way to hold the brass MPT 16th plug so what i got to think is i'll just get a piece of metal stock drill tap it put it in there got something to hold it with because with these little drills you 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 drill them by hand and i've tried using like a dremel to do it with before i've got broke bits down there that i can show you that it don't work at that speeds but going through brass it shouldn't be that bad so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get off here, find me a small piece of steel that I can put those in. We're going to drill, drill the block at the same time, get those two holes drilled out that, that these are going to go in, and drill the plate and tap all three of them at the same time. That way I can put those brass plugs in. So I'll run you back when I get to that point. Okay, I got around here. I grabbed the drill bit out. 
and it didn't need any drilling. So we're going to take the tap, get it started in here. Okay, there's something I was worried about. This tap handle is the wrong size. Let me go find a smaller one. Okay, I got me a different style tap handle. Lube on there, just big thing with this. You want to make sure you go deep enough to where the plug's going to set below the deck surface. That way, it doesn't interfere with the sealing of the head gasket or. Uh, how the head sits. And kind of, we did get a little metal out of there. I'll get a light and we'll shine in there and see how good those threads look here in just a second. Okay. See if I can get in there well enough. I don't know how well you can see the threads in there. I got into it done the first time get this air check leak fixed got it done the first time wasn't exactly happy they were there looked okay but I still had extra room on the tap go deeper with it so I went back and ran the tap the rest of the way in uh, knowing from running the drill bit in there's no way I was going to bottom the tap out in the hole now as you've seen I really didn't need the drill bit in the block but I still need the drill bit to drill my, uh, the hole, the tap, for my fixture to hold the 16 MPT plugs. And what I did is I went around and looked just for some scrap metal. Well, the legs from my lathe come bolted to a pallet. This piece of metal is with it. Perfect thing. I'll set it up in the drill press, drill it, tap it, and then I'll have my fixture to hold my pipe plugs to drill them out and then i can put this one back up now i had a thicker piece of metal but i would have had to waste a, a bigger chunk of it of this um uh, i think it's five eighths plate and i would have had to waste some of it and i really didn't want to waste it because that stuff ain't cheap so i'll get off here i'll drill this tap the plate and come back and show you when i drill out the jets okay i got it drilled I come back in, I chamfered the hole, and I am having was having trouble with this to get it started straight. So what I'm doing is just using the tap, or the drill press, putting a slight, well, okay, get the check tightened up a little more. Putting slight pressure on the handle. see if that got it started because once I get it started straight it won't be a problem it's just getting it started okay, which you can tell it's started now put my tap handle back on over here little wibby dooby there oh yeah remember to 
back it up that way I don't bite, put the tap in a bind. This is going to take a little bit, so I'm going to cut you off, and I'll run you back when I get done. Okay, I finished tapping it. That one's screwed in. All the crap off the bottom. Got the drill bit I want to use. Unplug the drill, that way I don't accidentally cut it on and mess anything up. light pressure on the drill press hammer handle and just turning it by hand And that's all there was to it. Now after I finish this, I'm going to cut you off, go in, edit the video, but I will be doing another one when I finish this on some more mods. The, uh, and block prep. Nice thing with this deal is if I ever decide I want to do it to another block, whether it be another Ford, a Chevy, a Dodge, whatever, I already have the tap and the drill bit, and I've got eight more of these plugs. Okay, maybe I need to put a little more down pressure on it this time. Because it's just not starting like it did a minute ago. There we go. Now I'll change hands. Now the biggest reason for this modification is 
the top end gets oil before the bottom end. So, if you, uh, let's say if you turn any kind of R R RPMs with these FEs, all your oil ends up up in the valve cover because it won't drain back quick enough. I want the drill bit. Now I don't plan on trying those kind of RPMs, but shoot. I'm another drill bit here. Okay, the drill bit I got's a little smaller than the one I was using. I just got to figure out how I'm going to open the hole up the rest of the way after I finish this. The most pressure I'm putting is just the weight of my hand laying on the uh, handle. I think I made a damage to the other bed on the first go around because I drilled through and got into the into the. Uh, vice itself. No one thing my arm's getting tired from turning this. Okay, 
and three. Now let's find something to open this up with. Okay, I'm gonna find another bit and I'll be back. Okay, I got another drill bit. And I'm definitely gonna have to leave it in there. Uh, looking for something I can stick under it. There we go. A piece of cardboard under it. That way I'll have something sacrificial. If I thought I could put a piece of wood under it. back to hand drilling it again now this is going to actually open me up to a 97 jet but a little more oil won't hurt anything We're, it'll still be restricting it down and uh Keeping all of it out of the top end. Okay, well, let's see if we can get this drill bit back out of the I try it being drilled through, but it wants to, uh, I guess I'm going to have to put it back on the plate because it's not. It's pushing down into that cardboard too much to finish drilling it. What about those other that other kid if it hadn't been for the shipping price? I just don't see thirty dollars in shipping the little bitty parts.
Okay. Well, we've got them both drilled. I'll go in and work on them a little bit and get them opened up a little bit better. But, uh, thank you for watching CC's Garage. We'll see you in the next one.